marvelous. Chip, chip, and chipperoni. Hello from the South Pole uh, to the SideQuest hydroponics team. I maintain an office out of the University of Arizona. Okay. And um, uh, I work for Raytheon Polar Services. Right. I manage the growth chamber uh, remotely. Oh, really? I like to think of it as a grow bot. Uh, it's a grow bot, huh? Okay. And uh, just so everyone knows, I'm going to pan the camera around here. We're at the South Pole station, and this is the greenhouse, correct? Yes. Technically, and the growth chamber. But, right. Uh, Are you doing on. hydroponics here? Sure. Come on in. Okay. And so, I have, uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, there's three hydroponic systems. Uh, system number three, system number one, and system number two. System number two is for uh, tall crops. Let's, um, let's open this one up. Tall fruiting crops. The chamber is completely automated. You can see that camera over there in the corner. Yes. Uh, from that camera. I'm able to connect with the chamber and have a look inside from the University of Arizona's Controlled Environment Agriculture Center. Okay, so from 13,000 miles away, you can watch your plants grow. Indeed, <laughs> when the sat pass is cooperating. Not only that, but uh, I can get on the computer and change settings. So I can change the environment in here, uh, uh, depending on what I think is necessary. Uh, I've got a group of people at the University of Arizona that support me. Um, horticulturalists, uh, uh, engineers, um, etc. So this is just nutrient solution. It's, it's watered, it's full of nutrients, um, and as the plants take up those nutrients, uh, the growth chamber senses that and adds more nutrients. Really? Indeed. Oh, it's, so it's automated heavily. Uh, uh, the environment is au automated with regard to the temperature and relative humidity. We also uh, automate our carbon dioxide injection where we enrich the atmosphere with CO2. Uh, the nutrient solution is uh, constantly monitored and changed uh, for the plant's health. And uh, what else do we have here that's automated? Are there special challenges due to the elevation here of 9,500 feet? Yeah, you know, there's not a lot known about plants uh, growing at altitude. And um, what we generally try to do is we, we pick plants that we think will work well, and if they don't, uh, we toss them and try other plants. The only uh, restriction on the plants that we can grow is that they be edible. Uh, the International Treaty requires that. Oh, okay. Do, do, do people here eat uh, the plants that are grown? Oh, yeah. Uh, when you, so you have what, lettuce or spinach? Or? I'll, I'll point out what plants we've got. Okay. So, this is the middle system, system number two, and it's independently controlled from system three, uh, or system one and system three. And we have all our tall crops here, they'll grow up along these strings and over like a jungle. Uh, there to your side, you have cucumber, uh, zucchini, uh, these tall crops that'll grow up, uh, as well as sunflower. Right. And then the nasturtium, which is an edible flower, will grow down as a cover crop. Here in the middle, You've got uh, uh, tomatoes, cucumber, pepper, and beans. And the beans will wrap around the peppers and the uh, uh, tomatoes as they grow to the top. And then back here, uh, we've got cantaloupe and oriental melon, along with broccoli. Uh, and again, some nasturtium that will act as a cover crop as the tall fruity crops uh, uh, go up to the ceiling and towards the back. Okay. These two columns. We'll have our strawberries. Uh, this is kale, Swiss chard, cilantro, uh, and some uh, chives. And all along the bottom, we've got assorted types of lettuce. Again, on this bottom, we've got uh, assorted types of lettuce. Uh, red oak leaf, green oak leaf, green Grand Rapids. Uh, on the other side, we've got um, uh, bok choy and what else do we have? Uh, basil. Um, and then uh, over here in the nursery, we're trying to sprout some uh, 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 cement and rosemary and thyme. Tomatoes is a greenhouse 
operator or greenhouse technician? So the function of this is to provide uh, fresh vegetables for the witch rovers because it's eight months without flights. Oh, I see. So they get fresh veggies out of here and it's also really awesome in the winter when it's just really dark and cold to come in here and it's like light and warm and humid. Yeah, it's there a enough, nice spot. Do you grow enough to feed people? Yeah, it's actually, this pumps out a lot of veggies. Do you know how much? Like how many pounds? Yeah. Per day, during the in full production, it's six kilograms of biomass a day, which boils down to 2.8 edible kilos of biomass. Six and that's